uh, from taking your Laravel application from a local host to production. We'll be using Railway for this. So and ideally we'll be using Docker. So I have a local application here. This is how it runs on localhost. And I've created two uh, APIs for it. This is the post, a get request. The, okay. This is a um, route to get uh, all the posts. Uh, this is a route uh, where you can create a post and uh, this is a route to modify or update a post. So uh, to deploy this, I'll be using a Docker file. I'll leave the code in the description of the video that will be posted on YouTube. Um, ideally, you see that we'll be using PHP 8.2 because these are Trilavel 10 application. And uh, if you look at the composer.json, the minimum version that is required is 8.1. So hence uh, 8.2 in the container. So we'll install the dependencies here. Uh, this is the, we download the composer and the node packages. And then finally we install the packages, uh, both the Java, JavaScript and the PHP packages via the composer. And then we'll expose our app on port 8000. So um, that being said, I'll just proceed with the deployment. So uh, the first step is, uh, of course, to push uh, the application to the GitHub with the Docker file placed at the root of your application. So um, as you can see here, this is uh, the application in GitHub and uh, the Docker file is right uh, in the root of my application. That way, uh, Redu will be able to detect it. So um, to begin with, we will just uh, create a new service. We'll create a database. We'll deploy this using MySQL. Just uh, give it a minute as uh, it spins up. So it is uh, creating the database. We can in the meantime um, create uh, the application or deploy the application from GitHub. So ideally you should be able to see the application. That is uh, if you have configured the railway GitHub app to access uh, your repository, your GitHub repository. Otherwise uh, you can come here to configure your GitHub application and then you can select the repositories that you want to be accessed. Uh, you can choose all repositories as uh, required. So I'll just minimize this. So it's deploying that. So for me, uh, my application will be visible here and it's a private uh, repository. So I'll just uh, click on it. So it's uh, set up and we are ready to start uh, setting up the environmental variables. So we'll prepare the environmental variables and just paste them here. So I'll come to settings and then networking. Just uh, let's uh, let me pick the public URL from here. And then let me just uh, prepare the variables here in my ANV. So uh, from this, uh, we should be able to update uh, these configurations for the DB connection. So you can see that the database connection is the connection is MySQL. The host that uh, we are able to get it from here. And up to there. The port we are able to get it up to here. The database is this railway. The password is this part. Click 
which you can uh, of course uh, pick it as an independent variable from here yeah, this password so if i happen to copy this value and just uh, paste it it should be the same as this uh, that is in the public url and uh, the username for this database is uh, root as listed here so uh, the other set of variables that we need to set up is uh, this yeah so uh, this one would uh, remain so we can use this as the production and then i uh, will definitely change the app url once we have deployed the application so yeah i think for now we can have it as that and then i'll come here to the Laravel. i'll go to the row editor i need to edit the environmental variables i'll paste what we've just uh, prepared I'll say update variables and now I'm ready to deploy the application. So um, it takes a, a, time, a, a, a moment to build the application and then it should be up. So as it deploys, you are able to see the logs that have been exposed by the docker container so and uh, you see here it's still building let's give it some minutes we will of course check if it has uh, created the migrations on our database since uh, we already did a few migrations here for creating the post the post table which would have the idea the title and the content because uh, we will be testing the api part of this application which is uh, exposing these two or three uh, endpoints so it's still building So for the first time it takes a while and then on the subsequent builds uh, it shouldn't take uh, much time Just checking, it has installed the node, it has uh, installed the packages, the composer packages. Okay, let's see if um, it completes the deployment. If I just check here. The migrations are yet to run. So it says it's still treating the containers. So no tables here. Okay, Javin, let me just try refresh. Yeah, so it was able to create two tables uh, while we expected three so we can okay are they still loading so yeah so we have the password set the personal access the users so ideally our application has uh, created the migrations and uh, you can see the post table is uh, created here it 
has no data so uh, just one minute uh, let's uh, update uh, this uh, let's go to the settings and then networking and then we can generate a public domain for this so generating the public domain and then we can copy this then come to the variables let's just uh, edit this up your rev to the new variable and uh, we should ideally be able to deploy the change so it's still uh, deploying the change uh, let's just look at uh, it if the application is uh, up on the other side yeah so uh, the application is up we just need to test uh, the endpoints for this so i'll just uh, change this the post i'll change this to this this one should be a https let me just copy it properly Copy this and then let me delete that. Let me send the request again. And the uh, up the, the data has been created on production let's just uh, create another one so ideally this would be your endpoint this is how you get your endpoint api and then the route not really let me just uh, copy this And then I'll use it here instead of my local.